Maurice Purley loves to exercise. He bikes and walks often in his neighborhood in Orlando, Florida. This 53-year-old father of four knows how important it is to keep in shape, especially with his family history of heart disease. So it was no big deal when a few years ago, his doctor recommended a stress test. The first day you go in and you eat a meal, and then they, an hour later, they take pictures of your heart at rest. And the second day, you're on a treadmill, and after the treadmill, you eat a meal, and then they take pictures of your heart after that. The test itself was completed without any problems. But afterwards, when the doctor looked at pictures of his heart, something wasn't right. The doctor had called back and notified me that the pictures showed a blockage in the lower right side of my heart. He told me that he wanted me to schedule a heart catheterization as soon as possible, begin to take aspirin daily, and also limit my physical activity. I should be prepared to stay there up it could be from that day on to several days to put a stent in or bypass surgery, depending on what they should find. I was terrified, shocked, surprised, because I felt that since I had exercised all these years, the last person that would ever have that problem would be me. But like he said, he was going by the pictures and what they showed, and they showed a blockage. Maurice made the appointment for the procedure, and then it was time for him to get ready and he knew exactly what he had to do. Two nights before the procedure, I took the prayer cloth late at night and I taped it to my chest before I went to bed as an act of faith, believing that God was going to work on my behalf for a miracle. And I asked the Lord, Lord, who could I call to have agreement? And I remembered the Abundant Prayer group. And I called that number when I got home from work I laid my hand on my chest and I had the phone in the other hand and as the gentleman prayed with me, I laid my hand on my chest and he prayed for me for about five to seven minutes, solid scripture. And the presence of the Lord was so strong and so real on that phone call, I was, I was overwhelmed and the peace of God which was so, so powerful there. The day arrived for his appointment. Maurice was taken back and prepped for his procedure. While he was waiting for it to begin, something strange happened. And to this day, Maurice will never forget it. And as I rested my head, I set my head down and closed my eyes just for a moment. I had a vision in full color. And what I saw in the vision was Jesus walking into the waiting room, walking down the hallway, walking into my room, leaning over my bed, and placing his hand right over my chest where my heart is. And the vision left. I closed my eyes again to relax. And again, the vision in full color, Jesus is right over on top of me while they are wheeling me with his hand on my chest. At that point, it was the second time that this vision had come. I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt, no matter what happens, he is here and he is going to do something. At the end of the procedure, the doctor said, these are his exact words, Mr. Pearlie, you do not have any blockages at all. And this is what he said to my wife and my daughter. He says, your husband and your father literally has the arteries of a 16-year-old. I can't explain it. He's looking at his clipboard. I don't understand it. Whatever you're doing, it's working for you, Mr. Pearlie and then he went about on his rounds. I was overwhelmed with unspeakable joy and knew that I had been supernaturally touched by God himself. His wife Donna agrees. Being a survivor of breast cancer, she also believes in the healing power of Jesus Christ. I know God really did touch him and he was very moved by that and I, I know that he did touch him. God can work any way he wants to work, as, as we all know. Uh, individually. He's helped me be living still. I'm a survivor of breast cancer for three different times. And so God walks you through it and helps you through it. Maurice Purley is back doing what he loves, and he has shared his healing testimony again and again. He knows something miraculous has happened in his life. He is so real and so very present for us in any time of need and help, just like Psalm 46.1 says. That's what 
kept going through my mind is, here we are, we had this need, and he just miraculously entered in and provided a miracle. And Maurice knows that the Hour of Healing and the Abundant Life Prayer Group are going to be there anytime he needs them. I think it's one of the best ministries there is in America today simply because they work as a team. They're there for you whenever you have a need. You can go to those, phone, those phones 24 hours a day and call that number and, and be there nightly for you and give you such excellent teaching on how to pray for the sick and how to receive instruction from the Lord, from the Word, like their ministry.